is probably the very last version of the Ultra Match Fire Strike that will ever be produced. The Stage 3. And the reason being is because this plunger rod is no longer available. Why? Because um, Orange Model Works decided not to uh, make the um, Fire Strike Unleash Solid Final Stage Kit anymore. Which, I must say, I think that's a terrible reason not to make it anymore. As you can see, uh, it's neat, it's composite, whatever, but you can't really tap a brass barrel in there, and it's obviously expensive to manufacture. You don't need them. I don't use one. I, I use my ZDS uh, setup, which as you can see, as tradition of an R-Spec Fire Strike, the top cover is always off of it for the reason of adding airflow if you don't have the light, but this one also, well, if you do have the light. This one, of course, doesn't have a light anyway, but it makes it so you can see the, the counter spring right there. Well, it's a little hard to see. There you go. You can see the counter spring right there. It's holding between the plunger tube and the 916th barrel sleeve. The gold top is basically uh, to signify to people that this is a blaster that can shoot past 150 flat. And yeah, that little blaster can indeed shoot past 150 flat, especially with a 21 kilogram spring load. So today we are going to crony it. Now, let me tell you what the original crony results are. Um, Schoon meat, the original 18, the 18K, uh, number, 00, number 009, was able to do 150 to 155 feet per second. The um, original Ultra Magic 001 cronied somewhere probably in the vicinity of 140 to 145 and the reason I know this is because 002 was cronied and it was identically made to 001 which by the way caught fire because I used an acetone based loop. This is actually built off the remnants of 001, 005, 009 is now 0013. So we're gonna fire away. <coughs> it's a little tough I don't have a stand today. Um, so we're going to fire a way. Okay. So, this one's got 21 kilograms. Let's see how we do. Ready? 174. These are push rod. They're not coupler. 173. Look at the consistency of 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 the feet per second. Now watch, the next one's gonna be totally off, right? 191. Now we're gonna use the elite phone. 191 out of a fire strike, folks. Yeah, they can they can go that fast. 168 out of the Elite Blue Foam. I don't really have to worry about these jamming since it's such a, sh a short barrel. It's only five and a quarter inches of barrel length on this thing. It's got such compression. I, I mean, on this last Elite Dart, it's like trying to pop out. It's got such compression in there. 192. That's an accurate reading. Let's throw a um, normal fire strike with a normal elite dart in there. Okay. So now I'm going to take, just so you guys know this isn't off or anything, because it's not, I'm going to take a normal fire strike and a normal elite dart and fire it through there. It was kind of funny, I fired the uh, switch shot through there and it did, uh, it did 47 feet per second. <laughs> it's like I can't believe we ever fired. Okay, this is a stock fire strike. 66 feet per second. Okay. Let's grab a couple more elites. That was a little bit of a worn dart. Let's grab a couple more elites. That was a little bit of a worn dart there. 66 feet per second. 78 feet per second.
55 feet per second. Yeah, this one's like underperforming. But as you can see, if anything, the Pro is reading too slow, not too fast. <laughs> but those were those. The, the middle one was a brand new dart, and the other two were older darts. That goes to show you with the elites how much velocity you can lose with older darts.